Welcome back to Studio 5. You know, to most people, shoveling snow is just a winter chore. But to our next guest, shoveling snow can be downright dangerous. Jared Beckstrand with Mountainland Physical Therapy says he sees quite a few injuries this time of year from people who are not properly maneuvering the snow shovel, right? You know, it's, it's actually the most common injury that we see in the clinic. You would think, you know, winter time skiing, snowboarding, slips and falls, things like that. But it's actually sprains. It's actually sprains and strains, low back, neck, upper back. It's dangerous. It's and a dangerous sport. And let's be honest, it, it's the, in some sense I can see that because we get a lot of snow. I mean, that's the right. blatant statement right. of the year. Yeah, I mean, like, I was, I was actually researching this. We get about 60 to 80 inches a year. You think that's a lot of snow to shovel. That is. Yeah. All right, you're going to show us how to do it the right way? Well, and so, yeah, so the first thing, I've got a couple steps that I wanted to show you. The first thing that I advise people is to find the right snow shovel. You can get one with the, the straight handle, a little bit outdated. They actually are making these ergonomic shovels that are pretty cool. Okay, what so, is this called? <laughs> Hold on. I, I spent all morning <laughs> bending this into the proper shape so that I could say ergonomic. I like Basically, it. what it does is it keeps you from bending over. You're able to stand up a little taller okay. as, you're, as you're pushing the snow. Yeah. Um, the second thing that I advise people to do is if you can avoid the BLT. It sounds like a delicious sandwich, What's but what you're going to do. So you're going to avoid bending, lifting, and twisting. Okay. Okay, and so you know, most of us, you know, you're down here, you're bent over, you're trying yeah. to lift, and then that twist, that's what causes back injury. As that's we throw the snow correct. over our Correct, yeah, shoulder. so that's, that's what's going to sprain your back, that's what's going to put a lot of exertion on those muscles and also on the discs in your back. So, so what do we do you instead? You want to try to avoid that. So what I advise people to do is push, don't throw, okay. and lift with your legs. Okay. And so rather than, you know, just throwing the snow wherever it may be, you know, push the snow over to where you want it to go, lift with your legs, keep your back straight, and uh, help the snow up to where you want it to go. So we're kind of scooting the snow. We're scooting. We're scooting the we're, snow. We, we, we advise snow scooting, <laughs> not snow shoveling. Do you like that? I just adapted your word from pushing to perfect. scooting. Yeah, scooting okay, the snow, like and it. then we're using our legs to lift it, yep, as opposed to using your, our back. Keep, keep your back straight, lift with your legs. Enjoy a happy, healthy winter. And obviously a strong back comes into handy Correct. if you're going to take upon yourself this chore. Correct. Any just quick back exercises people can do? Um, yes, there's a bunch. However, to name them in uh, quickly, I, I, I can't. Come see me. Come, okay. come see us down at Mountainland. We'll get you We'll get you hooked up with some good exercises to strengthen your back strength. You work with core. clients to do that, to Correct. make their back strong enough yep. in order to endure exactly. a chore like this. And if exactly. people have already kind of felt the strain, felt the sprain, how long does it take? I mean, every client's different. I know every patient's Everyone's different. A little bit different. How long yep. would it take to get that? Back, yep. back into shape. Well, I would say that the majority of people, it's, you know, a day, two days, rest, heat, things like that are going to help out with it. However, if it lasts for longer than about a week or two weeks, you need to get in to see someone because there's a lot that we can do for that. All right. Awesome. Jared, thank you so much. We're scooting. Thanks, Brooke. We're lifting with our <laughs> legs. Scooting. We're doing all of the above. No, that's very helpful. <laughs> and we have some snowfalls in our forecast, I hear. So that th those that, those tips will come into play here in the coming weeks and, of course, the coming months. All right. Coming up next.